The United Nations has passed a new resolution on North Korean human rights conditions, which could refer the country to the International Criminal Court. The government task force on the Sewol ferry sinking was disbanded on Tuesday after operating for 216 days. And construction is complete on the world's largest container ship, a Korean-made giant equal to four soccer fields in size. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Wednesday, November 19th. I'm Luke Clary. The United Nations Third Committee has passed a new resolution on North Korean human rights conditions, which could refer the country to the International Criminal Court. The new UN resolution on human rights abuses in North Korea has passed the UN Third Committee. The result was 111 votes for the resolution's passage, 19 against and 55 abstentions. The UN Committee of Inquiry had presented a report accusing the North Korea leadership policies of committing crimes against humanity for decades. The resolution recommends that this report be presented to the UN Security Council and in doing so, refer Pyongyang's human rights records to the International Criminal Court. The situation of human rights in the DPRK demands a strong response from the international community. Cuba had submitted a revised version with key contents taken out, but that resolution failed to pass the vote with 40 yeses, 77 noes and 50 abstains. North Korea and its allies emphasized Pyongyang's recent efforts to engage in dialogues over human rights issues and invite UN rapporteurs. However, nations supporting the tougher resolution demanded actions, not words, from North Korea cannot compensate for replace or be traded in case the need for accountability for the widespread, gross and systematic human rights violation. This is the first time in history that a UN human rights resolution recommended referring an individual nation the to the ICC. North Korea has voiced its strong protest, fearing that this resolution may be construed as referring its leader Kim Jong-un to the ICC. There exists the hostile policy pursued by the United States against the DPRK with a view to eliminating the social system of the country by means of force. Although UN resolutions are not legally binding, the latest resolution is expected to further pressure North Korea's foreign relations and trade. The government task force on the Sewol ferry sinking was disbanded on Tuesday after operating for 216 days. The families of ferry sinking victims are opposed to the government's plan to completely withdraw from Pengmok Port. Pengmok Port near the site of the Sewol ferry sinking used to be full of makeshift structures and tents for victims' families, search workers and volunteers. But now it appears mostly deserted as most of the structures were removed since November 11th after the government announced that all underwater search operations would be stopped. The government task force, which was set up in the Jindo County government complex, held its final meeting to evaluate its performance in coping with the disaster and discuss points that need improvement before it was disbanded for good. The task force was set up on April 17th as the public harshly criticized the government for botched announcements. The government dispatched the task force to tackle the accident on site. Meanwhile, families of Seo tragedy victims blasted the government for trying to avoid its responsibilities by disbanding the task force before devising measures to lift the sunken ferry. They also urged the government not to withdraw its facilities at Pengmok Port, which represent the site of the tragedy and act as a bridgehead for supervising the lifting of the sunken ferry. <laughs> The victims' families met with Minister of Oceans and Fisheries Yi Ju Young and urged him to deliver on his promises regarding the ferry lifting. They also said they would stay in Chindo for the time being to see what kind of measures the government would devise next. Construction is complete on the world's largest container ship, and it's Korean made. 
The vessel is equal to four soccer fields in size and capable of carrying some 19,000 containers at a time. This record-breaking cargo carrier is expected to energize the struggling Korean shipbuilding industry. The world's largest container ship, the CSCL Globe, has been unveiled in its full glory. Measuring 400 meters in length, it's longer than the Eiffel Tower laid down on its side and taller than a 10-story building at 30 meters in height. A Chinese shipping company ordered five cargo vessels worth about 700 million U.S. dollars back in 2013. The CSCL Globe is one of the five. In recent years, Chinese shipbuilders have quickly caught up with their Korean competitors. However, they still lack the technological capability to build supersized vessels. This is why the Chinese shipping company placed the order for these huge container ships with Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries against Beijing's instructions. The Chinese government had set a nationalistic principle that Chinese ships must be built in China. The completion of the world's largest container ship, built entirely with domestic technology, is expected to greatly energize the struggling Korean shipbuilding industry. Amid strained inter-Korean ties, Hyundai Asan and Pyongyang have agreed to jointly hold an event in the Mount Gumgang area and work toward the resumption of tours within this year. On Friday, South and North Korea will hold working-level talks on the upcoming visit to North Korea by former First Lady and late President Kim Dae-jung's wife, Lee Ho. Hyundai Group Chairwoman Hyun Jung-un returned from Mount Gumgang after attending a ceremony marking the 16th anniversary of tourism in the area. During her visit, she and some 10 North Korean officials, including Asia-Pacific Peace Committee Director Won dong yeon planted a pine tree that symbolizes the hope of resuming the Mount Kumgang tours. They also agreed to work toward the resumption of the tours within the year. The South and North held a joint event for the first time since Mount Kumgang tours were suspended in 2008 after a South Korean tourist was shot to death during her stay in the area. The event was organized by Hyundai Asan and North Korea's Asia Pacific Peace Committee, which are directly involved in the tour deal. In an unprecedented move, North Korea sought the South's understanding for Director of United Front Department Chief Kim yang guns absence at the event. Sources also say that the participants shouted out slogans wishing for the resumption of Mount Kumgang tours at a luncheon. Meanwhile, stalled talks on the planned visit to North Korea by former First Lady Yi Hee-ho are also regaining pace. The Kim Dae-jung Peace Center said its officials are to meet with officials from the North Korean Asia-Pacific Peace Committee on November 21st at the Kaesong Industrial Complex to discuss Yi's visit in more detail. At the meeting, the two sides will discuss the exact date and venue of her visit, as well as issues of humanitarian aid. The Korean government has recently announced a plan to explore the moon by 2020. But KBS has uncovered a feasibility report on this ambitious project, pointing out its exceedingly tight schedule and other issues. The government recently announced the space development plan to send an unmanned spacecraft made of homegrown technology to the moon by 2020. The nearly $2 billion project's timetable was moved up from 2025 to 2020. But KBS has obtained a preliminary feasibility report in which experts raise issues with the plan's tight schedule. One of the concerns have to do with the shortage of manpower. With only 12 dissertations on lunar exploration having been written by Koreans, local research on the matter is inadequate. The report also determined that given the current level of locally developed space technology, it would be difficult to develop core components on time. The report concluded that time must be taken on the project in order to boost its chances of success.
1층에 대한 관리라든지 이제 비용에 대한 관리라든지 이런 부분이 굉장히 중간에 관리가 이제 좀 충분히 되면서 이제 낼수 있게 사업이 중개되는 이제 그런 것이 필요한 선택이 있는 이제 사업이라는 거죠. In spite of the findings, the Lunar Exploration Project passed its preliminary feasibility evaluation in September. The government has been touting the high cost effectiveness of the project, saying it would bring almost 3 billion U.S. dollars in economic benefits. However, the internal report said it's hard to calculate the economic effects of the space development plan because there hasn't been any precedent set in Korea. The nation's courts are making efforts to revamp their public image. In some courts, you can see artwork on the walls, while in others, judges announce their verdicts using PowerPoint documents. A map unfolds on a large screen in the courtroom showing the site of the incident and the surrounding area. The judge and those involved in the trial check in front of the audience whether a DUI incident occurred on a motorway. In the final trial for a case regarding the murder of a high school girl, the judge uses a PowerPoint document to summarize the complex relations among four suspects. 어려운 법률용으로 판결을 선고할 때에 비해서 피고인 등 당사자에게 설득력 있는 설명이 the use of information technologies is now a basic skill for judicial officials. One judge who recently sustained an arm injury used a voice recognition function on a smartphone to write a verdict that consisted of more than 10 pages. Eight courts nationwide have installed works of art to create a more inviting atmosphere. Courts are increasingly trying to shed their cold image with the help of art and information technologies. If someone creates an artwork following a direction manual from an artist, who's the actual creator of the work? Well, an experimental exhibition is underway in Osan, south of Seoul, inspired by this very idea. These people are looking at an instruction manual without having received any prior directions. They do their best to follow the instructions and create the piece of art. Artists come up with the ideas while regular people take on the actual job. 20 artists from home and abroad and 60 citizens in Osan, Gyeonggi province have joined together to take part in this project. But the question remains, who is the real author? Though somewhat abstract and unfamiliar, this unique experiment invites people to think about the role of labor that goes into creating artwork. It blurs the boundaries between artists and spectators, causing one to ask how much the arts have been ingrained into modern society where replication has become the norm. We pose the same question to the exhibition's organizer. Who is the real creator? The answer is, I don't know. Whoever is deemed the rightful artist, artwork created in this way are on full display and greeting visitors at this venue. In theaters these days, many films seem to delve into the theme of a father's love, including the blockbuster space movie Interstellar. There may be a reason behind this trend. Food is running short and the global economy is broken. Marsh, I love you forever. Faced with a crisis of planet Earth on the brink of demise, a father embarks on a voyage through space to save his little girl. Many upcoming films, in addition to Interstellar, tackle the theme of fatherly love. 힘든 세월에 태어나가. 이 힘든 세상 풍파를 우리 자식이 아니라 우리가 겪은 게참 다행이라고. This father has devoted his entire life to his family. 우리 아빠입니다. 39. One father who has been jobless for a decade does all he can nonetheless to fulfill his role. 
아버지들의 아픔이랄까 노력 이런 걸 보여주고 싶었거든요. 최근에는 아버지에 대한 그런 생각들이 변화하고 아버지 상이 변화하면서 과연 아버지는 어떤 생각을 가지고 있을까에 관객들과 가족들이 관심을 가지게 되는. The movies remind us that even when life seems unbearable, our fathers weathered through even harsher trials. Zipper bags are a versatile kitchen item. Here's how to make the best use of them in ways you may have never thought of before. Plastic bags with zippers are widely used to store food. Zipper bags come in handy in all kinds of situations. They're even indispensable in offices. You can keep important documents inside. They also come in handy for storing small clips and tweezers, as well as name cards, which can easily get lost in the shuffle. You can also keep electric cords in zipper bags to prevent scarring and protect them from dust. But most of the time, zipper bags are used in the kitchen. 저희 집에 아이가 있어서 음식을 자주 해 먹는 편인데 수납 공간이 많이 없고 해서 지금 어떻게 정리를 해야 될지 걱정이에요. When storing food in the freezer, use zipper bags designed specifically for freezers. Store fish and broth in small portions. This way, they're easier to store and melt as well. If you store too many vegetables at once, they will wither fast because of moisture. So wrap them in a kitchen towel and store in zipper bags. 양이 많아서 좀 금방 먹기는 그럴 때 살짝 데쳐가지고 냉동실에 보관하시면 좋은데 그럴 때 지퍼백 사용하시면 좋아요. Vegetables and fruits stored in zipper bags stay fresh for over two weeks because they're completely sealed, which helps prevent them from going bad. 뜨거운 물이나 아니면 전자레인지 바로 사용을 해도 될지 걱정이에요. It's okay to use zipper bags for freezers and microwave ovens, but they shouldn't be used in boiling water or in the oven. Many people reuse their zipper bags. Although it's okay to wash and reuse zipper bags where vegetables have been stored, try to avoid storing food in bags that had already been used to store other food. 국물류를 담게 되면 그 국물들이 소재 사이사이로 침투를 굉장히 잘하게 됩니다. 가급적이면 국물류를 담은 뒤에는 재활용하지 않는 것이 바람직하겠습니다. Zipper bags also make a good cooking tool. You can use them to make a tofu steak in a mess-free way. First, cut the tofu into large pieces and mix it with diced vegetables inside a zipper bag. 퍼팩 안에다 모양을 잡으시면요 그릇이나 소스는 씻을 필요가 없으셔서 간단하고 손쉽게 두부 스테이크를 만드실 수가 있습니다. Making hot cakes is also easier with the help of a zipper bag. Put all the ingredients into the bag, mix them well, and make a hole in the bag. Then squeeze the mass through the hole right onto the frying pan. Thanks to zipper bags, you can cook all kinds of dishes without much hassle. Using zipper bags properly, you can make your life easier. Now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again at the same time tomorrow.
Goodbye.